welcome back to my channel. Today's video is two bookish unboxings and I'm going to do them together into one video because they are the smaller bookish boxes and this has been an insanely crazy busy month for me with family and the holidays and everything else. I've just been so so busy that I haven't really had a time to sit down and do some videos so since these are smaller I'm just gonna combine them into one video and let's just get started the first one is the bookish box it comes like this and let's see so the first thing I see is oh it's a pouch from out of print it's just a little pouch that you can use for various things this month's box theme was banned books and it comes with your typical card that lets you know what's in it and I, I have one that I got from another box that was the Paragon School for Peculiar Children, and these are very well-made little pouches. Okay, so the second thing I see is up here, and it's a bookmark, and it is a watercolored bookmark. I read banned books, which I do. So for me, this is the exciting part of this box because I just love the t-shirts. This one is... He made her feel like she was more than the sum of her parts. This shirt is from Eleanor and Park. Where do see? The who made this is District Made. But it feels like a really well made shirt. Okay, so the next thing in here is inside this big wad of paper. And it's a cup that says read more books so it's just a little jar I'll probably actually use this for paint brushes worms and the worms at least this box wasn't just completely overfilled with worms in this box and that is the bookish box. So there's no books or anything in this one. This is just kind of bookish items, fandom stuff, um, which is really cool. So the next box is Bookly Box. And this is another one that I have never gotten. I've never gotten the bookish box and I've never gotten this one. And this one. So that's it. It, should, it comes with a little bag. And the bag has the Bookly Box logo. I'm going to get an item off the bottom. The hell is this? It's a lemon, but I don't know what it is. Uh, maybe something in here will give me a clue as to what this is. Looks like something you can just slap somebody with. Okay, I feel a few things down in here. And just a bookmark, just a generic bookmark. Um what, what is this? It is a cork face coaster thing. I don't know. I don't know what I'll do with that. Uh, and then I feel a few more things. Some tea bags. Oh! Hey, it's a tea diffuser. I bet you you put a tea bag in there. And then you sit it in your drink. That makes more sense. That had me confused. I didn't know what the hell that was. Like, it looked like you put something in there, but I didn't know what. That makes more sense. I get it now. Earl Grey. Ooh, pumpkin spice. Chai tea. Ooh. I'm going to try that tonight. I think that's it for all the stuff. Now the book. 
The book is Afterward by Jennifer Mathau. Matthew Mathau. I met her at Y'all Fest and she was a lot of fun. Um, she played a lot of games and she was very um, open for all the suggestions that the crowd was giving out, which were really crazy and goofy. And she was right up there jumping around, play fight. I mean, she was just a lot of fun. So this book is, it says, Ethan went on a bike ride. Four years later, he came home. So I guess we don't know. Oh, it says he was kidnapped from Texas and there was a big search for him old from the perspective of both Ethan and his sister Caroline so it's about a boy who goes missing and reappears four years later and the bond that he has between um, him and his sister so that sounds like a really good book it also sounds like a TV show that I have watched recently like last year there was a show where a boy went missing and came back and then they found out that it wasn't really him what was the name of that show if you could think of it leave it in the comments down below because I can't think of it right now but that's what it kinda sounds like maybe when I read it it'll be completely different than that I'm sure but just right off those are the vibes that I'm getting so I'm excited about reading it um she seemed like a really nice person and I'm excited to read her book. I wish I had this book sooner because I could have had it signed by her, but I didn't. So, next year. So, that is both boxes. The Bookish Box and Bookly Box Monthly Subscriptions. Um, I've been doing a lot of un unboxings and stuff, but I'm going to pick like my favorite two or three out of there and those will be the boxes that I stick with but I kind of wanted to experience them all and see what they're all actually like for myself so yeah until next time guys bye 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 bye